welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure all right y'all so look challenge yourself challenge yourself that's how the greats become great because they challenge themselves and they don't give up like everybody great that you see they started from the bottom they started with no knowledge um, they started feeling effortless, you know, they started with nothing but a will. So if there's a will, there's a way. Um, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Like if it was easy to be great, everybody would do it. And I'm not saying, so that's why I'm not saying like it's going to be easy or anything, but it's definitely worth a challenge. So, um, let me tell you a challenge that I just started for myself. Well, actually, my fiance and I, we just started. Um, we, we are challenging ourselves and each other. So, y'all know if y'all watch maybe my last video or something like that, one of my recent videos, um, I challenged myself to do no social media for one week. It was great. It was amazing. I missed it. <laughs> um... But now, like, we're challenging ourselves to do our phones for just two hours a day. So, I had already started. Like, we came up with this challenge um, last night. So, Sunday night. I had already started with the challenge, but I wasn't specific about how I wanted it to be. So, that's another thing. Be specific about things in life, period. Your goals in life be very specific in order to get what you want. So I wasn't specific. I just knew that I was going to do less time on my phone. So yesterday I did amazing. Um, I think I actually did two hours on a Sunday. So, you know, usually people like to hang around and be on their phone on a Sunday, which, you know, I'm not comparing myself to anybody but myself, but the old me. So for some people, you might say, wow, well, two hours is still a lot of time. Well, that's me challenging me, and that's me comparing myself to me, and that's me, um, yeah, comparing myself to to the old me and what I would have done. So this has nothing to do with you. Set your own challenge. Set your own boundaries. Um, I'm just saying, like, challenge yourself in life. So we're doing two hours a day, and what we're doing is the an hour um, early in the day and then an hour later in the evening. So what this is going to do for me and it already has um, just allowed me to focus on being present and also allow me to tackle goals. Like I have already been setting two goals a day um, and just knocking those out. But I felt like in the process of me doing those two goals or setting those goals, I even told myself this, I told my fiance this, like I feel like my goals can be more, more, um, more personable and more just I don't know what word I use but what I want to say is like more out of the box like more more challenging that's going to get me to the next level in life so you know it's not about um it's not about having 20 things to do or whatever it's about having that one or two things that you do each day that is effective that is going to show results in your future so challenge yourself whatever that is if that's staying off your phone is that if that's actually setting goals because you know how many people in life don't even have goals period like a lot of people need to start with that stuff like even setting goals period just period in life period um, what does your future look like and then take those goals and break them down into small steps so let me give you an example like um okay we said we're gonna do two hours on our phone a day our goal is to was it's, it's for this week we're doing two hours per day on our phone this week and I don't even mean that we got to be on the phone for the whole two hours you know I haven't been on my phone for this whole um, hour that we're in but including in this hour I have to get any video that I want to get it posted and do anything else on my phone that I need to do call anybody which I don't really call people but um yeah anything that I want to do I need to get it done within the hour or the hour later on so the reason why we said this week only is because imagine if you said, oh, for my whole life, 
you know, I'm going to do one hour a day or two hours a day on my phone. Soon as you don't do, and I just know this from experience, soon as you don't do that, that two hours a day and you start falling off, it's easy to continue to fall off because you're like, oh, I got the rest of my life to be doing this. I'm not going to do this for the rest of my life. Like, set small goals. Take your big goals, break them down to smaller goals, break them down to monthly goals, break them down to weekly goals, break them down to daily goals, and even down to hourly goals if you have to. Break them down to hourly goals. And I mean, not even saying, like, fill up your whole day. I'm just saying, like, what hour of the day are you going to be working on this or for how long per day or what days are you going to work on this to ensure that it gets done in this amount of time or you want to make um a million dollars well how are you going to make a billion a million dollars well how much money are you going to need to make daily to be able to hit that million dollar goal so that's very important um it's very important and nobody, the thing is, nobody can make you be great. Like, it don't matter if people help you in the process. It don't matter if people motivated you in the process. Nobody can do the work but you. Nobody can do the work but you. So, you have to, at the end of the day, you're the one who have to get it done. So, you're the one who has to motivate yourself when there's no motivation, when you can't find the motivation, when you can't find the strength. You know, you have to be the one that tell yourself that you can do it. You have to be your biggest cheerleader. You got to be your biggest fan. I'm my biggest fan and I have to be or nothing is going to get done. It don't matter how much motivation I get from my fiance. It don't matter how much motivation I get from turning on the TV, which is very important, but from turning on the YouTube channel or um, whatever, watching something motivational, listening to an audio book, listening to a podcast, those things definitely help, but where you see the results is in the action. So nobody can make me get up and get to work. Nobody can do that. But it's very important to write things down, write things down, set goals, um, set boundaries with yourself, and, you know, make it fun. Like, it's funny, we both was thinking um, earlier, once it was time to get our phones, I was thinking, like, I felt excited. I'm like, dun, dun, dun. Like, wow, this is this is something. And then my fiance came in the room like, yeah, this, this is fun already. Like, make it fun. Don't make it, like, a job. Don't make it hard. Don't make it, like, although it's a challenge, don't make it, you know, don't feel bad about it. Look at the good in it that you're going to get. Look at the good that you're going to get out of it. So think about what what's good going to come from this. Before you even start the challenge, what am I going to gain from this? Not what am I going to lose? Because you're not going to lose nothing. Because at the end of the day, you never needed what you had in the first place. But look at the good that you um, that you get from challenging yourself or whatever. Like, I see nothing but greatness. I see nothing but growth coming from this. And then, like, do one challenge at a time. So, like, I can do, like, I thought about it. Like, one other challenge, I just ran down in the basement. I just ran down in the basement to... Um, to make this video or whatever because it's like everybody's home and for some reason I got this thing with um recording videos around people I just feel like it makes me lose my train of thought like I've been there plenty of times and people walked in and I'm just like you know I may be able to continue but it just makes me very uncomfortable and that's something I definitely want to challenge myself on but I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to take that away from the challenge of me you know my phone challenge or whatever so I just want to focus on one thing at a time and then once I master my phone once it becomes a habit which um with habits they are it's something about seven days but they are like completely formed in 21 days so it only takes 21 days to to um create a habit or whatever so matter of fact I'll like I'm still start with one week, but each week I want to keep going and keep going and keep going until I get to that 21 days, and then just keep going, you know. Like, but I'm not gonna think about it as a 21 day challenge. I'm thinking as as a weekly challenge. So I'm gonna continue to go, continue to grow, and that's what you gotta do in life. Like, no matter what setbacks you get, 
no matter what challenges, because it's not going to be easy. You can ask every wealthy person financially in the world or uh, physically or mentally, was there any challenges? And there are. There's challenges in everything that you're going to do. There's nothing is going to come easy. And if it's easy, it's probably not good for you. Let's just put it like that. If it's easy, it's probably not good for you. So there's going to be challenges. It's not going to be easy. But guess what? Once it become a habit, once you learn the game, once you actually know what you're doing, it does become easy. It does become easy things that you continuously do time after time again. Um, you know, things that you make a habit, it, it does become easy. So, you know, I'm not trying to discourage anybody by saying it's not going to be easy because at some point it will become easy, but you have to continuously do it. You have to master it. And by master it, you have to continuously um, do it, continu continuously focus on it. And um, like I said, not focus on it all day, every day. But if that's what it takes, then, yeah, you probably should be doing that. Um, in order to become a master at it, in order to become great at it. Like, in order to master your mind, master your thoughts, you have to continuously feed your thoughts positive things. You have to continuously work on your mindset. You have to continuously um, listen to motivational and positive things that's going to feed, feed, um, feed your brain good things. I mean... And it's the same thing vice versa. Like if you continuously feed your ego with negative things or with things that you want or things that you think you need or things that you don't have or um, whatever, then that's that's what's going to happen as well. So like I said, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And that's the reason why everybody isn't great. But I personally am on my way to greatness, and I'm going to do whatever it takes. Like... Like I said, it's not going to be easy, and that's okay. Like, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Like, I'm I'm willing, I'm breaking cycles. Like, my family, we were meant to break cycles, and that's just what it is. We are breaking cycles. Like, we already, like, to the average person, we already, we, we got a lot. We got it made. We, I mean, people... You know, some people may not get to where we are in life, and that's okay. Not everybody is meant to, but I know that I am destined for greatness, and, you know, it's no way I can stop here. It's no way I can stop here. Although this may be a great life, a great house, a great um, family to the average person or to anybody else, you know, I personally still feel like... There's so much more I could be doing. There's so much more I want to do. There's so much more I will do. So I'm going to just keep going, keep growing. So keep going, keep growing. Stay spiritually you. Stay spiritually in tuned. And I will see you guys next time.